Hello everybody and welcome to this new video of the 3D game programming series of Wave Engine 2.0. Uh, for this video we would like to start creating our game stream, but first of all we have to explain what we understand as a thing. In Wave Engine a thing is what contains all the game entities and the logic of your application. Uh, it can be use as a game level, as a menu or as a credit page for example. Um, on this demo we will use just one thing, the main level thing. So now we will start creating the asteroids and the player ship. In the previous video we will using the assets and now it's turn to use them just to create new amazing stuff. So let's begin. If we navigate through the assets hierarchy panel, uh, we can click on the model folder and then we can see four different kinds of asteroids, the chip, the thrust and the environment background. We can create a new entity uh, in several ways. The easiest one is just clicking on the assets and dragging into a thing like this a new asteroid will be created uh, in this place um, if we check on the entity hierarchy a new entity is also created if, um, and if we navigate through its components we will see the materials map, the transforms 3D, the model and the model renderer. We can also see that the model path is also created and uh, we can check its position just moving through the viewport in this case we can use the controller the position controller uh, where we can drag it uh, through different axes for example this is the x axis then this is the y axis and the z axis we can also move on the x z plane and the other planes also for example this on, we can also change their, pro their properties just on the entity details panel. So let's place in the zero point. We can also navigate through the viewport with the mouse. Using the mouse wheel, we can zoom the viewport, zooming in, zooming out. And if we press the right button of the mouse, we can look to different positions. And if we press the A key is we are moving left and the B key is moving for moving right, the W is for moving forward and S key for moving backward. Pretty standard. And this way we can move uh, through the entire thing. We can also uh, check this uh, visualization cube and press the different sides of the cube for different views. We can also change to orthogonal view. But let's here and change to right frame and uh, hide the grid of the thing, pressing the G button or this button up there. So okay, uh, now it's clear. We can start uh, dragging a new material to this to this model. We can see here the materials map uh, component of the model entity. We can rename it to steroid1. And if we click on the default materials path, uh, all the previous created material will be show up in a panel and we can click on the asteroid map which stands for asteroid material. This new material will be applied. Uh, we can remove this slide because it's not longer need. You can see the, the asteroid is pretty cool. And let's start uh, creating more asteroid. Uh, we can right click on the entity and select duplicate in the menu and another entity will be created and if we select it we can move again 
let's check the position one, for example. Then we can change its model. For example, uh, in the model uh, model component, we click on model path slot, and we can check the asteroid two model. Another model will be created. And another way to duplicate in a model is just copy and paste. For example, control control C and control V. Another asteroid we will create it. And we can also change its model, clicking it and selecting the asteroid 3. And again, we can paste again the same model and move to another place and the same. Change it to 4. In, at any moment, we can save the project just clicking Ctrl S or uh, clicking this button up there on the save project. Now, if we click in the camera 3D entity, we can see the, the asteroids here. Uh, we, can, we can move the camera and its pre visualization frame will update with its movement. If we see the, the components of the camera, we can check the background color and change it with a black, space black, and uh, change its default movement, but let's stay like that. And if we click into the simulate button here, we can see how the scene is going. We can change the camera. Stop. And if we click on the build button the project will recompile and show up a new window with the standalone application here we see the same thing but in compiled application okay now it's time to add some effects to the asteroid for example we can add a rotation behavior uh, to do that, we just need to add a new component to this entity, and for for doing that, we just have to click in this add button, and a new add component dialog will appear. If we click on the component uh, button, we can see a lot of components, different components. But if we just write spinner, for example, we can click it easily. This new component has a vector3 parameter and uh, if we change it we, we will create a spinning effect. For example if we check right 10 on the x axis, 30 on the y and 50 on the z and we click on simulate we can see the asteroid spinning around. The same with the rest entities. A different behavior and values. Let's add 40, 80, and 60. And for this one, let's add. 13 to 83, my birthday. And we can see that every asteroid is spinning around in a different way. As we can see uh, in the previous video, we explained that this material had a uh, image based lighting that means that the lighting instead of coming from a wave light it's, it's coming from a environment map or a, from a cube map so we can have this kind of soft illumination okay now it's turn to create the chip and for doing that uh, we can do exactly the same we can drag this model 
into the scene or we can create a new primitive for example we can create a cube here it's black because we don't have lights um, in the model path we can change it in for the chip the model it's too big we can see so we can make it smaller for example to the 10 come up here if we change to wireframe we can see it better and now it's time to create its materials because only we only create this environmental map and we need to create its material for that we just have to click on create material in this material folder and start adding its textures for example on the diffuse path we can click on chip diffuse on the specular path we can add the chip specular and on the ambient path we can add the space IVL the image based selecting cube map Um, I think it's pretty nice for now. We click on create and we rename to chip map that material will be created. And then, if we click on the entity, we rename to chip. We also can uh, set its textures, and this model has uh, the particularity that it has two textures. So for setting them, we can't just select in the default material path, so we have to create the, the materials dictionaries, just clicking here. Uh, the, then the materials map dialog will be shown, then we click on add material and select the different sub mesh of the object, chip mesh, and then we click on the material. Then we select the next, the glass one, so we click on it. And voila, here we have. This is the, the ship as we expected. If we click on the camera now and move accordingly to view the ship, we can change its orientation. If we click on the press on the simulate button. We can see the chip, this the chip on the steam with the asteroids spinning around. And in the next video, we will create the rest of the environment. With that, we will add the thrust effect, the 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 engine thrust, and we will start creating really cool things. So thank you very much for watching it. I hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for the next video and I hope you liked it. And thank you very much.